the cutting edge of science is where all of the unknowns are, where there's more questions than answers, where it's all hands on deck trying to understand our observations, our experiments and our data. And in astrophysics, that has never been truer than after the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. Prepare for a groundbreaking revelation that is fundamentally altering our comprehension of the universe. Recent findings have emerged that are so astonishing that a growing number of esteemed scientists are beginning to believe we are on the cusp of a paradigm shift, one that may lead to concepts that our present understanding simply cannot accommodate. Andre Kutso, a postdoctoral researcher at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory in California, expressed in a recent interview, we're in the business of letting the universe tell us how it works and perhaps it's indicating to us that it's far more intricate than we ever anticipated. The Webb Telescope is pushing the boundaries of our cosmic knowledge, unveiling truths that may reveal the universe's complexity and enigma beyond our wildest imaginations. In a recent comprehensive analysis, scientists investigated 30,000 early galaxies detected by Webb, uncovering peculiarities that challenge existing theories of cosmic evolution. This exploration did not stop there. An additional assessment of 20,000 more early galaxies yielded equally perplexing results. This extensive research raises critical questions about well-established concepts. Could it be possible that the widely accepted notion of universal expansion, expanding space, stretching stars and galaxies? And what about you? Are you expanding with the universe? is a misinterpretation, or perhaps even an optical illusion? In light of these astonishing findings, many researchers are earnestly pondering whether we may be on the brink of a scientific breakthrough that could redefine everything we know about the universe. The fundamental question arises, could the Big Bang Theory, long considered the cornerstone of cosmological origins, not truly account for the genesis of all that exists? A recent publication in the prestigious journal Nature Astronomy elaborates on a particularly striking discovery made by the Webb Telescope. Researchers reported the existence of an exceptionally large galaxy from the early universe, which they have aptly named the Big Wheel. This colossal disk galaxy's light has journeyed over 12 billion years to reach our instruments, illuminating a time when the universe was only 15% of its present age. The discovery of the Big Wheel challenges prevailing theories regarding galaxy formation. Detailed observations from Webb reveal that this galaxy is comparable in size and rotational speed to the largest super-spiral galaxies known to exist in today's universe, appearing as a striking anomaly, as it is three times larger than other galaxies of its epoch, and is among the most massive galaxies identified in the ancient cosmos. According to our current standard cosmological model, galaxies in this epoch should exhibit less structure reduced size, and an undefined shape. Yet, the big wheel contradicts these expectations, showcasing a remarkable and sophisticated morphology that distinguishes it from its contemporaries. This isn't the only noteworthy galaxy unearthed by the Webb Telescope. Numerous, massive, and well-developed galaxies from this early cosmic period have already been documented. However, the big wheel emerges as the largest and most striking of these early galaxies, captivating astronomers and igniting further inquiry. In addition to these revelations, more recent findings from the Webb Telescope have introduced even more unsettling vicissitudes in our understanding of dark energy. The elusive force that propels the universe's expansion may be undergoing changes that necessitate a reassessment of time and space as we comprehend them. Many scientists believe that they are on the brink of one of the most significant breakthroughs in astronomy this generation has seen, one that could compel a fundamental re-evaluation of long-held beliefs about our universe. This initial finding contradicts the existing theory, partly formulated by Albert Einstein. More evidence is required to validate these results, but even some of the most careful and reputable researchers involved in the study, like Professor Ofer Lahav from University College London, are becoming enthusiastic about the growing evidence. This is what Wheeler told us. Matter tells space-time how to curve. But Wheeler also told us 
Space-time tells matter how to move. The identification of dark energy in 1998 was surprising in itself. Until that point, the prevailing belief was that the universe's expansion, initiated by the Big Bang, would decelerate due to gravitational forces. However, research conducted by scientists from the US and Australia showed that the expansion was actually accelerating. They were uncertain about the cause behind this phenomenon, and thus named it dark energy to reflect their lack of understanding. While the nature of dark energy remains unknown, astronomers are able to measure its effects. They can determine whether it changes by observing the acceleration of galaxies moving apart from one another at various stages of the universe's history. Last year, when researchers using dark energy spectroscopy instruments detected indications that dark energy's influence had varied over time, many scientists assumed it was just a temporary anomaly in the data. Yet, following more than a year of observations, scientists have confirmed that dark energy is exhibiting behaviors that are much more unusual than previously thought. Professor Sashadri Nadathir from the University of Portsmouth mentioned that they have conducted numerous additional tests since the first year. As Andre was hinting, uh, there are analyses that are at different levels of readiness, so where, where some of them we can almost press play and just repeat it, like the BAO analysis, and others where even the, the DR1 analyses are not yet complete, we haven't released those results. Which are increasing their confidence that the results are not the result of any unidentified data effect that they have overlooked. Recent findings from the Webb telescope also indicated that dark energy operated differently in the early universe compared to its current behavior. Nobel laureate and lead author Adam Rees remarked that Webb's findings reveal something peculiar. The universe's expansion rate, influenced by dark energy, appears to vary based on the measurement method used. For instance, when scientists analyze the cosmic microwave background, they obtain one value for the rate of expansion of the universe. However, when they apply predictions from the standard cosmological model, they arrive at an entirely different value. This inconsistency is referred to as Hubble tension. The difference between the observed expansion rate and the standard model's predictions implies that our comprehension of the universe might be lacking. Scientists had previously assumed that dark energy was responsible for a constant rate of expansion throughout the universe. This presumption enabled them to calculate the precise age of the universe and understand its developmental history. Nevertheless, Recent discoveries indicate that dark energy may not behave as previously anticipated. Rather than being constant, it seems to function in ways that challenge former beliefs. If these findings are verified, they could call into question the assumption that all regions of the universe share a uniform cosmic timeline, as it could alter the local rate of cosmic evolution. Certain areas of the universe may have experienced accelerated enlargement at different times, influencing how we determine their perceived age. However, to unravel these enigmas, researchers have recently introduced a novel concept of the universe called timescape cosmology. In this theory, researchers emphasize the considerable impact of vast cosmic voids and structures on the essence of time. In this updated cosmological framework, it has been unveiled that the universe's expansion is not fueled by dark energy, but rather is an illusion created by the passage of time. They suggest that time progresses more slowly in locations where the density of matter is elevated. For example, an atomic clock located within a galaxy could measure time as being up to one-third slower than an identical clock placed in the midst of a large empty void. Now, consider this over the extensive timescales of the universe. The universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old. Yet, in areas with scarce matter, such as cosmic voids, time has been moving more quickly. Therefore, billions of additional years might have elapsed in these voids compared to regions abundant with matter. This indicates that the universe does not possess a singular, cohesive age as we often perceive it. Instead, the age of the universe could differ based on your location. The universe's age could be older in cosmic voids than in denser areas of space. 
The situation gets even more intriguing. Since much more time has gone by in the voids, these areas have undergone greater cosmological expansion. To put it simply, the universe has been stretching more in these less dense sections. If you were to observe an object located on the far side of a void, it would seem to be receding from you at a faster rate than an object positioned on the closer side of the void. This is due to the fact that the space within the void has expanded more significantly over time. Now, envision this phenomenon throughout the entire universe. Over time, the voids progressively constitute a larger portion of the cosmos because they are expanding at a quicker pace. Consequently, when we examine the universe, it creates the impression that the overall expansion is accelerating. However, in this model, there is no necessity to invoke dark energy. Rather, the more rapid expansion within the voids inherently explains our observations. In 2017, astronomers from the University of Canterbury in New Zealand assessed timescape cosmology against empirical data and determined that it provided a marginally superior explanation for cosmic expansion than the Lambda CDM model. Additionally, in a recent survey of 30,000 galaxies using the Webb telescope, researchers discovered that the majority of these galaxies are rotating in the same direction. This is particularly unusual because, as per the Big Bang theory, the universe should have developed in a chaotic fashion, with galaxies spinning in random orientations. Nevertheless, this surprising consistency implies that the universe may have originated with an initial rotation, which is not considered in current theories. Even more fascinating, some researchers are now exploring the idea that the universe itself might have emerged within a spinning black hole. This concept isn't entirely novel. In fact, it forms part of a well-established theory known as the black hole universe hypothesis, which suggests that our entire universe could essentially be one enormous black hole. All these findings are astonishing and are uncovering additional enigmas regarding the universe and its essence. Well, this concludes the video. If you found it engaging and informative, please share your thoughts in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more videos like this.